Postal worker shortages, they're still causing big headaches in some of our Colorado mountain towns. In Steamboat Springs, one woman decided she wanted to help, so she got a job as a postal carrier. That process, though, exposed just why there is a shortage of postal workers. And she reached out to us through the follow-up on Denver7.com and spoke with Denver 7's Russell Haythorn this afternoon. Recent mail delivery issues in Steamboat and throughout the mountains have been well documented. Shortly after Christmas, we stopped receive email altogether. For four weeks, we'd got not one drop of mail. It was after that, Misty Carter thought to herself, why not apply to be a mail carrier and try to help with the problem? And left my name and number with them for that I was interested in a route position. She quickly realized why the U.S. Postal Service is having so many issues bureaucracy and mismanagement, she says. It took the post office three weeks to get back to her, and when someone finally did call, it was a third party. It was one of the people that had already bid on the routes that called me back. Whoever the post office subcontracts these routes out to, I guess there's a process and they're very tight lipped about it. I can't figure out how to get inside that loop. Steamboat and Crested Butte are now pursuing lawsuits against the post office for failing to deliver, among other things. It's an issue that has incensed entire mountain communities. It's the U.S. Post Office's obligation to provide service. Find a way to incentivize more people to want to work for the post office. I don't know why we don't get mail delivery and so many other people in America do. Yes. For Carter, adding insult to injury is the pay that third party contractor just offered her to be a rural route carrier. And the pay is $145 a day. Um, you have to use your own vehicle. There's no health benefits. There's no paid vacations. My son works at a pizza place for four hours, one day a week, and he makes like 60 bucks in tips. So for Denver 7, give somebody else the opportunity to make the money and solve the problem. I'm Russell Haythorn.